I may be mistaken, but I believe this is the only video on YouTube that shows how to change the drive belt on a snapper riding mower. And this is an LT200 with a 50 inch deck. If you don't want to watch the trials I had or the errors I made to change this belt, go to the description down below. I'll have the number where you can skip right over the video and go to the steps. It's near the end of the video. And there you can follow the steps to take to remove and replace this belt. Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove and install a drive belt on a Snapper LT200. This is a riding mower. Some like to call it a lawn tractor, whatever you call it. This is a little bit of a job changing the drive belt on this machine. And you'll see why in a couple of minutes. First of all, the tools you're gonna to need are pretty basic. I've been under here before. I never changed the drive belt on it, but I saw what it was like when I changed the deck belt. You may or may not need a hammer, uh, a screwdriver, or something to pry the pins. The mower deck has to be pulled off. You need a pair of pliers, vice grips, needle nose pliers, whatever you have, a ratchet sockets, and if you could, get yourself a hold of an impact wrench. Because to get that belt on or off, if yours is still on and not broken, you're gonna need to remove the clutch, and you have to remove the clutch to put the new one back on. And there's a few idler pulleys under there that have to be loosened up also. Another thing you'll need is a way to get your tractor up. If you have one of those lifts, that's great. I don't. So I'm using this come along attached to a chain in a tree. And whatever you have to get the tractor up, if you could put it up on ramps, use what you have. And remember, keep safety in mind. Once this is ratcheted up, I will be attaching the chain Besides this, in case this nylon strip should break or anything should happen, I will be laying under there and this is quite heavy. So I'm going to get this up a little bit more. I'm going to go underneath and like I said, this deck has to come down. If you don't want to remove it altogether, I don't believe you have to remove the deck, but you do have to disconnect it from the front and you'll have to remove the deck belt. Now I'm looking at this deck belt over here, it looks a little worn. I cut this lawn. This is what I cut, and in the back, I cut up half of this again. I only used this belt two times. The second time, I couldn't finish the lawn because the drive belt broke. So this belt does show quite a bit of wear for only using it two times. But I bought this online from Amazon. The link will be down below. The belt I bought for Bridge and Stratton was too short. I forced it on, let it run, and it tore up before I even cut any grass. So this cheaper belt is working. If I get a season, two seasons out of it, I'm more than happy. That's off topic, and I do have a video on this belt. Anyway, I'm gonna jack this up, lower the deck, and get to the clutch. As I mentioned earlier, if your belt isn't broken, you have to take this clutch off before you can get the belt out. Because there's a guide up here, which comes off, but there's a permanent guide on the back where the belt won't slide by. But for now, I'm leaving the clutch. To get it off, it's just this one bolt and the wire connector, you have to be careful you don't break those wires. Here's where the problem is. This belt is broken, but I put it back on just, just for the video purposes. This belt, see how it comes out under this bracket? This bolt and this bolt aren't the problem. This is the problem here. Now, this is the shaft for the steering wheel. It comes down and this belt goes around it. Normally these belts come to one side or the other and they have a pulley pushing to the side. But for whatever reason, they have it going like this. Now this track is pretty easy to work on, but this is one of the things I can't figure out why they did it this way. What I'm going to try, I'm move this light just a little bit like this. See this bolt up here? It looks like this bracket's held on by four bolts. There's one here, uh, one over here and two on the other side, plus the steering wheel. I'm gonna try loosening these bolts and let this bracket hang. The steering wheel is gonna hold it up. I don't know if there's gonna be any slack in the steering wheel shaft going up and down, but if there is, I could, tr I could slide the belt over this side of the bracket and open it up and slide it over on this side of the bracket 
and this will be in between. Now to do that, I see I have another issue here. I have to take this uh, rod off here. So this will have to come. I take this off. I want to see if loosening these bolts will do the trick. Can't do this and hold the camera at the same time. So I'm going off camera to loosen these bolts and see if I can get that belt over it. As soon as I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, I want to show you where I'm at. I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that this particular mower, rider, was one of the easiest ones I've worked on yet, the way they have everything laid out. I hope that I'm doing this belt replacement incorrectly because if this is how you have to do the belt replacement, they more than made up for the ease of maintenance for the rest of the tractor on this particular piece. This is the plate that the battery was on, and as I mentioned, there were two bolts going down to the bottom, one bolt coming on the side, the same on this side. I had to pull those out. For that, you're gonna need an extension, and you're gonna, uh, if you have a, a swivel ratchet or a swivel to go on to the um, socket, would be a big help. I just want to get a light. I'm going to put this camera down. I want to get a light in here to show you what I'm looking at. Okay, we have another mouse nest in here. And this one's complete with the mouse. You see him in there? Look at that. A baby mouse. Let me tell you, I don't know what it is with this unit that it picks up mice. A couple of weeks ago, there was a mouse nest all around this one cylinder. Cleaned it up. About 10 days later, parked the tractor in another location. Another mouse nest in there. Now I'm finding this nest over here with this little guy. So I have to get that mouse out of there. I have to get that nest out of there. I didn't realize the mouse was in there. And the bolts I have to reach to get to that bracket are under here somewhere. So my first job is to get rid of this mouse, get rid of the nest, and then proceed. Just want to let you know, I went online and I searched for hours and I couldn't find anything on how to put this drive belt back on the Snapper Rider LT, is it LT200. And if I'm doing this wrong and if there's a better way, those of you who have shops or may have did this before, post the comments down below because I find it's difficult to believe that this is how you have to go about doing it. Anyway, I just want to show you the steps I took. I already took this off. And you get this plate off. This is the plate that's in front of the battery, between the battery and the engine. There's a bolt one on each side, and then you just pull this out, and it comes right out. I got rid of the mouse nest that was in there, and I don't know where the little mouse ran. He ran down that hole, and I don't know where he went to. Now, I tried removing the steering shaft, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get the shaft out. So what I ended up doing was putting this nut back on and using a large so socket and just kept tapping it down tapping it down it didn't move much I know I could get a wheel puller and pull this off but this plastic being so old I was concerned about breaking this wheel and I don't know and I don't know if I can get another one or how much it would be so I'm trying to avoid buying any more parts than I have to and underneath I wiped as much grit off as I could. I used brake cleaner, sprayed it up, wiped it down. Before I go any further, I'm gonna take this clutch off. Now, when you take this clutch off, use an impact wrench. It'll make your life a lot easier. You have this guide over here. Where am I? You have a guide up here that holds the belt. You're gonna to have to take this off to put the new belt on. And also, this guide fits right on the slot over here and it keeps this clutch from turning if you forget to put this on this clutch will spin and it'll rip out your wires so to take this clutch off use an impact wrench before you do that remove the wire so it doesn't fall out of your hand and you snap the wire break the fitting and keep track on how the pieces come out because there's a couple of pieces that are in here speaking of breaking wires I could have been a little more careful. The other day when I was playing around in here, this is the bracket for the battery. I happened to pull a little too hard without realizing it. And I pulled 
this is your safety switch for the brake it goes under here so I'm just hoping I could plug this back in and it's going to work if not I have to address that later but for now I'm going to get my impact wrench I'm going to take this clutch off and then and I'm going to show you how I have to wiggle that belt on and like I said if anybody knows of a way of doing this that's quicker than this let me know those of you who have a shop if you never worked on this machine before and one comes in with a belt not a deck belt the deck belt is one two three no problem at all but this drive belt if this is what you have to do minimum an hour's worth of work and the shop will be a little quicker you all set up you don't have to run back and forth for your tools so it should take about an hour maybe even an hour and a half and if you have any rusted bolts that's uh stripped because these machines are old well you know what you have to do at that point so let me get my impact get this clutch off and i'll show you how i'm going to wiggle that belt on i'm ready to take this clutch off this bolt in the middle it's this one here not this big one the first thing i'm going to disconnect this electrical connector this bolt in the middle is 5 sixteenths and this is what you're taking off not this big one this will just drop out and to put the new belt in you'll have to take this retainer off and this is 5 sixteenths all right so i'm going to be taking that off and then i'm going to be slipping that belt on back there okay once you have this bolt out the clutch will just drop straight down next you have this pin that you have to pull out and you have this piece right up here that'll slide right down this is where the drive belt has to be connected but you can't connect it without taking it out because you have this other guide over here so this guide is permanent it stays in this guide here you can just loosen it up and push it to the side and again remember to get this guide into the clutch on this unit this is what keeps the clutch from spinning if this clutch should spin it would turn around and rip these wires out either rip them out of the machine or rip it out of the clutch itself so you want to make sure you get it back the right way i'm going to get this out i'm going to squeeze that belt under here i'll pry it down a little bit and then once i get this side in i'll come around and i'll get it in on this side and then we'll hook it up to the back now back there surprising it doesn't have any um guide pins to hold it on they're all up here in the front so once i get that on i'll show you it installed no matter how much prying i did underneath i couldn't get that belt on it just wasn't enough room so i came back to the top and i, I couldn't bang this through so what i did i wasn't sure if it would work but other than cutting that piece off and welding it back together took the nut off sprayed some lubricant down in there this is a mixture of transmission fluid and acetone it's more for rusted bolts but i figured it was thin enough to get in there and i used this big wheel puller and i was very careful i did a little bit at a time just a little bit at a time and this wheel popped right off the steering wheel then this cup comes off you can see there's tabs you just squeeze it and it comes out over here next i didn't take this out yet we have this uh, c-clip so once i take this sleek c-clip out that steering mechanism will fall right down once it does i'll put the belt on and put it all back together again if i find anything else that's preventing me from getting that belt on i'll video it if not the belt will go on i'll put this back together and then i'll be back to show you the installed belt all right we're taking this steering shaft out i was able to get the belt in you see how the belt is going around i still have to connect it to the back pulley connect it to the front pulley now pull the front pulley off i'm going to put it on it's hard to video this and do it at the same time between the lighting the mess underneath the grease and everything and i don't want to destroy the camera but the only way i can figure to get this on is to get that steering wheel off now i'm going to get under here i'm going to put the pulley on that this goes on to here's that right over here see where that light is there's a guide over there make sure the belt goes under that guide and this guide is adjustable here this one will tighten up when we put the clutch on that acts as a guide for the belt 
and it keeps the clutch stationary. I mentioned that three, four times already because it's very important. If you don't put that on, you'll destroy it under here. All right. Let's see how I could get this on and keep it on video. <clears throat> There's the light. Here's the pulley. Can't get the light on there. Okay, here's the pulley. And you see there's a guide over here. You wanna make sure you get this in. I don't go up if you don't anyway, so. Okay, I have to put the camera down. All right. The belt is on the pulley. It's behind the guide. Like I said, this one we adjust when we put the clutch on. See how it's over there like that? Okay. So, now. Oh, you know what? Then there's another pin that goes in here. Once you have that set up, you put this big ring on. You tap the other pin in put the clutch on and bolt it in. That's how you get the clutch on. But before you do this, I just want to show you the step on that because once it's all together, it's kind of hard to explain. Before you do this, you have, you have this side of the pulley and you see the guide on it. Right there, there's a guide. So to get the belt on, you either have to pull this down all together or I think I could just get by by loosening it up. So I'm gonna loosen it up, and there's another pulley there, and see the, gu and see the guide on, right where to follow the beam, there's a guide right there. None on this side, one on this side, none on the other side. You have to make sure the belt goes under these guides. If not, you'll tear this belt up, maybe one or two uses, if you'll get that far with it. So I'm gonna attach the belt to the transmission, Bring it around here. You can see this this idler is flat, so the back of the belt goes on here. Over there we got the V-notch, the V the belt goes in there. It's coming up through here, which we already did this. This was the nightmare right here. And then we attach that piece on that I just showed you, the clutch, button it all up, and we're done. And I still have to put bolts in here. The reason I didn't put the two front bolts is because the pan on top it's connected with these bolts so right now I just have this one here holding it and the back ones are in but this has to uh, be put in this has to be snugged up all right at the end of this video I'm gonna go step by step on how to do this I won't be showing how to do it but I'll show what steps you should take to get this done and again I tried prying this down without taking this off there was no way I I was bending this with a crowbar, trying to slip this belt on underneath. It just wasn't gonna go. You have to take the steering shaft out. And I had a hard time getting it back in, so I had to take the, the gear that controls the wheels off also. So I'll have to put that back on. That was something I didn't expect. I don't know, it came off without taking it apart, but I couldn't get it back together. Idle pulleys in the back. So that's what I'm looking at. Once I'm done with all this, again, I'll show you it installed, and then um, I'll go through the steps on how to proceed with this. That'll be at the end of the video. Okay, it's done. I thought I'd never get this done. I took the liberty of washing everything down here while I had the deck lowered, and this is what it should look like. Follow the light, because I can't point and hold the camera and the light at the same time. Now the belt comes out, goes around that pulley, comes around, goes under that bracket. There's the shaft for the steering wheel, goes back. That pulley over there, I couldn't cock it. I had to take it off altogether. I just pried it a little bit with a crowbar, it came right off. While it was off, I pulled the sails off the bearings and I greased the bearings, they were bone dry. This pulley, I couldn't get off. It just wouldn't come off. To get the belt on, you can see that guide over there. I had a pipe that I extended out the side and I hit it with a hammer to bend it out. I don't know if that's going to give me a problem when I step on the brake, 
if so I have to get back under here put the belt back on and I'll use a pair of large channel locks from the nut to that piece to pull it over then it goes back to the transmission and on the transmission as far as I can see there aren't any guides which is kind of odd now when you put this belt on you want to step on the brake when you step on the brake this pulley over here releases the tension off the belt otherwise you won't be able to get this belt on remember to plug in your electrical again I, this is like the fourth time I said this this guide see that bolt right there holds that guide which goes behind the clutch there's a slot and it keeps the clutch from spinning um, torque on this bolt I believe is 50 pounds you can find the manual I believe they, they usually run 50 to 60 pounds I just gave it a couple of blasts from the impact gun and that's it now I did find that see that arm over there a bolt came out I didn't take that out that bolt actually came out so I don't know if it came out while I was working on it or while I was cutting the lawn the last time. I'm not sure, but I have to find a bolt to put that on. That wasn't part of the repair. While I was under here, I cleaned up the deck again. It was all greased up because I worked on this before when I had to change this deck belt. And what a mess I had with the grease that was under there. It wasn't that long ago that I cleaned this deck up. You have this up, it'd be a good time the grease your wheel bearings check your air pressure the mowers up so it's easy to get to these grease bearings this wire coming down has nothing to do with the repair this is for the um, lights on the hood I have them disconnected and they were rolled up and when I did all this work it came out if you've been watching this video to its entirety thank you for staying with me I hope it helps and anyway that's it if you have any questions or comments post them down below if you enjoyed this video found it useful be sure to give it a like it means a lot and it helps the channel and pass it along to someone else who might find this useful and for those who don't want to watch my trial and error trying to figure this out I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step procedure on how to get this belt off let me get up and we'll start at the beginning step one would be to get the tractor up whether you're using a hoist or if you have a, a jack to get it up either way the mower goes up I left this deck on and just dropped it that was a mistake when you're working on it it'd be a lot easier just to take this deck down and add it away this was really in the way when I had to crawl under there if I ever if I have to do this again the deck will come off while I do this job so now the deck is either lowered removed the tractor is up next you come to the steering wheel you need a screwdriver to move uh, mr. snapper take your time don't break it if you want to keep it work your way around and you'll get it off this is already disconnected you want to remove this nut this washer to get the steering wheel off I used a big puller before I did I spray some lubricant down the shaft because this just wasn't moving I don't know if you could buy the steering wheel if they're still available or what the price would be so you want to do your best not to break it after it sat for a while I pulled it off this cup you can see it has tabs here it has a tab on the top and on the bottom just squeeze it it comes right out next you have the c-clip with a screwdriver you remove the c-clip once you remove that c-clip come underneath that steering shaft will come out now that steering shaft will come right out I ended up taking all this off which I don't believe you have to take it off with that steering shaft out you may have to remove this bolt and this bolt to get this gear back on and there's nuts on the back of them so you're gonna have to hold those nuts with a wrench while you tighten these up if your belt isn't broken you're gonna have to take this clutch off to remove the clutch first 
remove the electrical connection. So if it slips out of your hand, you're not going to pull the electrical connection out. Then this clutch will slide right down. You'll already have the belt off from the, from the deck. So that belt won't be on. If this belt isn't broken, you'll take this clutch off. There's um, a shear pin that you'll have to take out. Once you do, the pulley will slide right down. There's a quarter inch spacer on the back of that. Where does it set up? You have the bolt, the lock washer, that spacer. Then the clutch will slide out behind it. It'll be um, a quarter inch to a half inch spacer. You have to pull the shear pin off. That'll come out and then you can slide the pulley that holds that belt. Then you'll have to either remove You know, you have to remove or loosen the bolt on that idler pulley because it has that guide on it. And the other idler pulley has the guide on back there. And the way I put the belt on, I started from the transmission in the back. I didn't find any guide pins there. Looped around these two pulleys. Put it through this bracket. Put the belt onto the pulley, slide the pulley up, put that spacer in, put the shear pin in, that'll hold it up, then reconnect the clutch. And that's it. Now, if for some reason you have to take this off over here, I went around the world and there was no reason for it. Looking at it now, I had to take out that bolt, that bolt, two on the other side, and I had to take out the whole battery compartment on top. Because this bolt you can reach, this one's under the battery tray, and it was a nightmare, it took forever. Once you have this all apart, don't forget to get some grease on here. This is all wet now. I have to dry it off and get some grease on here. 